Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 new comics to buy April 10th. Uh, let's get right to the video. What's up guys? As I said, April 10th. Hope everyone's doing well. I'm going to move this. It's going to move something around maybe. No, we're good to go. So, I got a bunch of covers to show you. I read a bunch of books. This is everything coming out this coming Wednesday. You got two days. You guys who are pre-ordering, everything at my store that's left is Marvel. So, if you didn't get your Marvel pre-orders in, do it by uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, please. Uh, besides that, yeah, we got some cool prizes. The Lee Rogers giveaway giveaway. You're probably not going to be able to see this one, but it's Dark Knight's. Batman the Drowned Metal Tie-In. It's green. It's foily. And Dark Knight's Metal Tie-In Batman the Devastator. So a little Dark Knight's themed doodads. Also, all my um, Sicko channel members, I will be doing the Sicko monthly giveaway from last month in a couple days. Bear with me. It's been very, very crazy over here. But I will have it out in 24 to 48 hours. Okay? So thanks so much for, to you guys. Um, so let's start with covers. Okay, guys, we got Aliens, What If, number two, the Lucio Perillo. Amazing Spider-Man, 47, the Disney cover. Brave and the Bold, 54, Fax Edition Foil. Crying Boy, number two, cover C. Fairy Tale Team Up, Robin Hood and Gretel, cover C. Fantastic Four, number 19, regular cover. And the Hildebrand Mr. Fantastic. I Hate Fairyland, number 13. Invincible Iron Man, number 17, The Kamikoli Vampire. Jennifer Blood, Battle Diary, number 5, cover B. Jim Henson's Labyrinth, Archived Edition, number 1, cover B. Miss Marvel, Mutant Menace, number 2, Peach Momo, cover Resurrection of Magneto, number four, the 25 copy Massifera. And the Alex Maleve. Star Wars Vader, number 45, the Rod Reese variant. And the 25 copy Sabatini. And the Kamikoli Master Apprentice cover. Star Wars Thrawn Alliance is number four, the Federico Sabatini cover. And the Kamikoli Master Apprentice. Suicide Squad Dream Team number two, cover B by Sweeney Boo. Thundercats number three, cover A by David Nakayama. And cover E by Ivan Tao. Transformers number seven, cover D, the 25 copy. Ultimate Black Panther number one, third printing, 25 copy. Ultimate Spider Man number one, the fourth printing. X Men 97 number two. And the David Mac Jean Grey. And Zombie Terrors Undead SP One Shot Cover B. And Cover D. Now, here are some number ones that are coming out. Silicon Bandits, number one. St. Mercy Godland, number one. Uncanny Valley, number one, the 50 copy. And when the blood is dried, number one. All right. If you haven't already, please subscribe, comment, like. That'll get entered. You entered into every week's giveaway. Just got to make sure to do that and you're in. And thanks for watching. Here we go. Top 10. In number 10, I'm going to put three reads. Everything else below that is key related. Okay, so I personally think that I'll hit that. So here, that's what she said. Number 10, Action Comics 1064, the foil cover. This is the beginning of the House of Brainiac storyline. Carnage number six, the regular cover is sick and it is an incredible read. And the 25 copy Baron's cover, sick. It could be lower on the list, but I'm going to throw these good reads here. And, uh, 
Incredible Hulk number 11, the regular cover. And the 25 copy Arthur Adams. That's also a good read. Very interesting. But I would say out of those, Carnage is amazing. One of the best reads of the week. Okay. Here comes some keys. Stuff like that. Number nine, Sinister Sons number three. It says Enter Spaceman Joe. They call him Major Tom in this. I gotta admit, it was kind of dumb. Not dumb, but just not me. But key. Not a big key. Number eight, Batman and Robin number eight. Here's cover B. And here's the Jim Lee Artist Spotlight. That cover's sick. And here's the one in 25. Now, this one snuck in there. I don't think this person's appeared yet. First appearance, I believe, of a character named Mila, who is Flatline's sister. I don't know if that character's appeared yet. I don't think so. So there you go. Number seven, Weapon X-Men number two, the Balzuda variant. And the 25 copy, which is sick. So there's a new Wolverine in this in one of the worlds who's like happy. He has kids. You can see him. Uh, but they do a backstory on the fat Wolverine who looks like me. <laughs> he he took his healing factor away to have a better life with Gene and left the fight type of thing. And it backfired on him. So that's like kind of his origin story. It was interesting. Number six is Star Wars High Republic number six. Here's the 25 copy, which is sick. And here's the Master Apprentice cover. So a couple funny things happen in here. But at the end, there's a child I've never seen before that they're like hiding and they let the child out. And the kid uses his powers against someone trying to like hurt him. And like super powerful. So I don't know who this kid is yet. Could be get I don't they don't name the kid either. It's a female, I believe. I'm not sure. It's all cloaked up and stuff. Number five is Wolverine number forty seven, regular cover. And the Sabretooth variant. Uh really that was a pretty fun read. And I believe it's the first appearance of a new character called the Bad Seed. And the Bad Seed is the child of Sabretooth and Mystique. Could be something good there. Number four is Ultimate X-Men number two, the regular cover. And the Mike Choi. I really like that Mike Choi cover. Still decent. It's not bad. It's decent. First appearance of Maystorm. Um, it's decent. I just love that Choi cover where she's like floating. All right, number three. Edge of Spider-Verse number three, the regular cover. The 25 copy of Mastrazzo is sick. The 10 copy Pete Woods. And the 50 copy Daniel. First appearance of Star Spider, who is Perse Persephone Parker, female. And first appearance of this character called Octavius, who is a Cree. There are some other appearances in there, but those are the main two. Number two is Symbiote Spider-Man 2099, number two, regular cover, 25 copy, and the Kokolo Stormbreaker. Okay, we saw like a something bond with Miguel at the end of the last issue. In this issue, he calls himself Spider-Man 2.0. So first appearance of Spider-Man 2.0, the Venomized Miguel, pretty interesting good book dope covers and number one is rat city number one i ordered a bunch extra because i was going to do this video where i sent in 50 where you know cgc i did that cgc video where i showed how they were grading and all those nine nines and tens so i ordered a bunch they're all really nice and i was going to film my own video doing it and then showing which ones should be nine nines and tens and all that like myself you know for fun and then send them all in. But I decided I don't want to spend all that money with CGC. I'm sick of them. <laughs> okay. So I decided to sell 45. Or I'm keeping like 5 or 10. So there's an additional at my store. It's oversized. Good quality. Nice book. So basically what Rat City is. Uh, there's a soldier named Peter Karen. So this is 100 years in the future. 100 plus. 
And they're like mercs. And they, like, do they kill people and all this stuff? Something happens, they all get destroyed, and then the company or the government rebuilds them, like, cybernetically and stuff. This is regular military people in the future. And some of them can't continue working, but they get the free tech. Like, this dude lost his legs, so they gave him, like, robo legs and stuff. And he's not able to continue where others were able to continue. So he's basically like a works on a street worker or something, you know, not like a hooker, but like a <laughs> sewer stuff. Um, and because of some events that happened a hundred years before with Spawn, he gets some of that Spawn, Hell Spawn jizz on him. Now, here's the thing. I do, he doesn't fully spawn out. He gets green eyes and stuff and some things happen to him. But I think number two will be the first full appearance of him as like an actual hell spawn. I'm not sure yet. But he's definitely on the cover of number one. So number one introduces you to the character and a bunch of origin story. It's pretty cool, man. And uh, I think this book's going to be big. So I think you definitely get Rat City number two. You be the judge for it when you pick it up this week at your comic book store. Or if you have already pre-ordered it from me. When you read it, you be the judge. You tell me in the comments. Yeah, he's fully spawn I, I know I don't remember seeing him look like a hell spawn at all. Um, it's just like the backstory and origin. Interesting. I think it's got legs. That's Well, it's funny. He didn't have legs. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's do the Lee Rogers giveaway giveaway right now. Again. All you had to do was comment, subscribe, like, and you're entered in for next week's. So the winner is DC Patrol. You won. So make sure to message me at my store, economistincommerce.com. Really quick, though. Justin, in the live FOC video last week, you won a huge prize. Uh, you weren't there at the end. So please message me at my store. for that. You won a big prize. That's what she said. Uh, but yeah, here you go. These are the ones you won. I'll send them to you. DC Patrol, hit me up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in a couple days. All right? Peace.